Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Welcome to another episode of our series on supplication. Uh, let me start with the name of Allah. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. In the name of Allah, all praise be to Allah, and may His peace and blessings be on to our most beloved, His last messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In, in the previous episodes, we did talk about several du'as from the Qur'an. We talked about du'as from Surah Al-Fatiha, Al-Baqarah, and now we are talking about du'as in Surah Ali Imran. And this is our second phase, because in the first phase of this episode, we did talk about the importance of du'a. We mentioned that du'a is an act of worship, and, and it's the essence of worship, as the Prophet said. Therefore, it should be all devoted to Allah in, in sincerity and devotion and dedication, that is absolute for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It, it's a manifestation of our lack uh, of power, of our powerlessness and weakness, our need for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a testimony on our behalf that Allah is great, is capable, is powerful, is near, is hearing, is all seer. It is a remedy for our distress and sadness. It is our weapon and shield, actually the best weapon and shield that we can have. It's our source of comfort, tranquility, peace. It's soothing, it's comforting, it's uplifting, it's empowering. It is your best companion. Dua is your best companion, so make it your best companion and make dua at all times, as we said before. And we did talk about the etiquettes of dua and, and now we are mainly focusing on particular individual du'as from uh, Surah Ali Imran. And this one is uh, in verse 53. This particular du'a is in verse 50, 53 in Surah Ali Imran. Rabbana amanna bima anzalta wa attaba'na al-rasoola faktubna ma'ashahideen. Our Lord, we have believed in that which you have revealed. And we have followed the messenger. So write us down with the witnesses. Write us down with the witnesses. Who are the witnesses? Ummah Muhammad is the witnesses. The, the nation of Muhammad will be witnesses. They will witness they will witness on the entire humanity. They will witness for Noah against his people. They will witness for uh, Abraham against his people. They will witness for Moses against his people. They will witness for Jesus against his people. And uh, the witnesses are the, the believers in the previous nations as well were witnesses. The witnesses are the ones who will be resurrected with honor on the day of judgment, witnessing against the disbelievers, witnessing for the believers, witnessing for the prophets and uh, messengers. And these are the ones who made the, the, the testimony of faith in this life. Shahidu shahada. They testified in this life to the uniqueness, unity, greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are not only witnessing in this life, but they will be witnesses in the hereafter as well. ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين. That teaches us an etiquette of dua, by the way. That etiquette, if you remember, is to uh, seek means to Allah through your own good deeds and righteousness. So the best deed that you ever uh, made, uh, the best deed, that you can count for yourself at any time is the testimony of faith. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. And here they are saying, Rabbana amanna bima anzal. So our Lord, we have believed in that which you have revealed. That which you have revealed is the Quran. Wattaba'na rasul And followed the messenger. What is that? The sunnah of the messenger. The sunnah, the way of the messenger the instructions of the messenger, the injunctions of the messenger, the prohibitions of the messenger. Rabbuna Azza wa Jal, our Lord, told us and taught us that if we don't follow the messenger, we're not following him. If we don't follow the messenger, we're not following him. 
Allah commanded us in the Quran to follow the Messenger. Take that which the Prophet has given you and abstain from that which he forbade you from. So this is a very beautiful dua. They have made it clear that they are believers in Allah. They are followers of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And therefore, after that, thereafter, they made their plea to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to write them down with the witnesses. Let's all hope to be amongst the witnesses on the Day of Judgment. Let's all hope to be of those who will be asked to witness against the people on the Day of the Judgment versus those who will be witnessed against on that day. An Nabiyun will be witnesses. As Siddiqun will be witnesses. As Shuhada are the witnesses. Uh, the pious ones are witnesses. So all of those will be witnesses on the Day of Judgment. It's, it's a great honor for Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala to ask you to step forward, to come forward and to witness for the prophets and messengers and to witness against the people who were tyrant, the people who were oppressors, the people who transgressed, the people who disbelieved, the people who rejected the messages of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, the people who made the prophets and their followers suffer in this life. So it's a great honor for us. But in order for us to deserve this honor, let us do what? نؤمنوا بما أنزل أمنا بما أنزل Believe in that which he has revealed. ونتبعوا الرسول واتبعنا الرسول We have and, and, and follow the messenger. And in this case, if we believe in that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, and follow the messenger and not deviate from the path or the course of the messenger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us of the witnesses in this life and in the hereafter. This ayat, uh, this ayat show us that this 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 honor on in in this life and the hereafter is not something that is uh, is not something that is given to you through your birth, your status, your class, your or anything. It is it, it is basically and only and only your own doing, your own doing. If you want to be resurrected amongst the honored and honorable on the Day of Judgment, it is clear to you that you must believe in Allah and follow His Messenger. I ask Allah for me and you to be resurrected with them in the company of the Prophets, uh, the Martyrs, and the Pious. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.